Okay, so one more really important thing I wanna share with you is how most dogs, and this is having worked with thousands and thousands of dogs in a one-on-one -on -one capacity, what I found is most dogs do not actually need any more training. Now, I know you're probably gonna think, what are you talking about? Well, here's the thing, the dog calming code is the way of saying to your dog, hey, I'm in charge, listen to me, I make the big decisions around here. And so here's the analogy, which I'm sure you'll understand. If you can picture a, a group of children, school children, you know, any age will do, but let's just say there's, there's 25 children go into a classroom and there's a teacher there who's in charge. And it may be a little old lady and she basically says she's an experienced teacher who has the respect of the children. They know not to mess around. She says, sit down, turn to page 24 and start reading quietly. And all the children in the class walk in, they sit down very quietly, turn to, turn to page 24 and start reading quietly. Now, at the end of that lesson, they, those children go down the corridor at school and they go to another teacher's room. And it may be a young, inexperienced, big, strong male teacher who you know, uses his voice a lot and tells them the same thing. He says, sit down, turn to page 60 and start reading quietly. And the children ignore him. They just know he's bluffing. They, he, they know that he doesn't know what he's talking about. He hasn't quite got that thing, that magic, the genius, the bit that wins their minds, that gets them under control. He hasn't got that. So they just keep talking, keep ignoring him. They don't turn to page 60. They don't sit down. It's just a riot. Here's the question. Do those, ch those children need training on what it means to sit down? No. Do they need training as to what be quiet means. No. And do, do they understand how to turn to a page in a book and start reading quietly? No, they don't need more training. They've already proven that they know how to do that. However, if they don't respect the teacher, they won't listen to the teacher. They won't do what the teacher's requested. And that's basically how this whole thing works. That when you put the dog calming code in place, your dog will start listening to you. They don't need more training. And that's why half the time when I turn up at a dog's uh, at an owner's house, you know, instantly, I say instantly, within like an hour or two, that dog, within an hour, is listening to me. It's coming when it's called, it's not aggressive, it doesn't pull on the leash. I've had dogs who instantly, I'm talking like, as soon as I pick up the lead, the owner's told me the dog will be a nightmare on the lead. And they're laughing, saying, you wait till you pick up the lead and try and take Bruno for a walk. The second I pick up the lead, dog's walking perfectly. Yes, it does annoy them a bit. They kind of understand it, but that's how the dog calming code actually works. It's so much more powerful than training because most of you, as you probably know, your dog actually knows how to do half the stuff you're asking them to do. And when you put the dog calming code in place, you basically get the results that you deserve. Your dog listens to you. They're not making the big decisions. There you go. All right, so that's how the dog calming code works. Your dog doesn't really need more training. Don't waste your time doing loads more training. Your dog actually knows what's going on. All right, have a great day. Bye.